In this short video, I'm going to show you one way that you can import quizzes into Schoology. And this is, in my experience, a little bit faster than trying to add one question at a time in the Schoology interface. This is going to take a few different tools. I'm going to walk you through each of these. So I'm starting out with a Microsoft Word document that is a nine question assessment. And we call this almost a multiple choice test, even though there's only two choices for each one of these questions. You're going to notice there's a particular formatting that we've done on this. And this is kind of important as we take this assessment and copy paste it into another website, which will then generate a file for us to import into Schoology. So you'll notice here real quick, this is a Word document. I've got a question. You'll notice the one dot space and then the question and then the answers, an asterisk before an A parenthesis and then an answer. This indicates that this is the correct answer to the question. You'll notice that there's a second answer, B parentheses, anti-federalist. That's the incorrect. You can add additional letters after these if you wanted to. So you could do uh, like a C and I'll just say wigs. And this will also become part of the question. So this particular formatting is actually part of a website at a university that has gone through a couple um, transitions in their learning management systems and they built a tool, we usually call this a parser. And the way that this parsing works, and I'll pop you over there real quick, and probably an easy Google search to do would be Blackboard Quiz Generator. And I'll also have a link here for you in a second. But what you're able to do is read the documentation here and you can take some of your existing assessments that you might have, again, if they're in some sort of Word format or they might be in Google Docs, and then format them in a special way. And it does give you an indication of what these could be for all of these question types, multiple choice, multiple answer, true, false, essay, fill in the blank, and matching. So you'll see that each one of these kind of follows that same exact format that we just went through. One dot, question name, asterisk a parentheses for the right answer and then the incorrect answers just don't have an asterisk so you'll see those kind of listed here now in my assessment that i um, created here with microsoft word i'll go back into this real quick once i've got it formatted in a way that i need it to be with all the answers i just do a control a which is select all and then do control c on my keyboard just to copy all this text so it's everything in here i'm going to switch over to that website and in the website itself, what it allows me to do, let's start here with a blank one, uh, paste all my text in there for the question. This is again coming from that Word document. Make sure that I have a quiz name. And down at the bottom, what I can do is create a quiz. And you'll see once it's done, it says that your tests seem to have nine questions. The package is available here. So you click on the Here button, which will download a small file. And you'll just need to save this to your computer someplace. And I'm just going to call this um, anti-fed quiz, even though it's a both. Click save real quick and you'll see that that just gets saved to my computer. Now in Schoology, once I've got that cool file, all I have to do is go and add some materials. So if I click add materials, I'm going to add a test or a quiz. And I'm just going to call this one... Um, Anti-federal tests versus federalists. And I can give it the due date and give it some points. I can create a category for it, etc. Um, and change these. I'm not going to worry about all this right at the second. I just want to show you the import. I'm going to click create. And you'll see now in my course I've got a new material that's called anti-federalist versus federalist. And now, because I went through that conversion process, I click Add a Question, and then Import a Quiz or Test, or Import Test Quiz. And that site that I used generates a zip file, which is in Blackboard 7.1 format. Click that, click Next, and it's, it's kind of hidden here. You click File, and I need to go and look on my computer to go find that nice quiz, anti-fed quiz. Click import. And you'll see quickly that all those questions that I had in a Word document that I converted are now in an assessment that are inside of Schoology. Now if you want to take a look at what they 
look like there's a preview button just click preview and you'll now be able to see the assessment that you can take you'll see that extra one I added there showed up as well so as a kiddo you're gonna be walking through here and taking these each one of these you won't be able to submit this because you're in preview view and you're not a teacher so won't really show you what this looks like at the end your results are going to be um, what your kids that you had in your question or I'm sorry your kids that you had in your class so you'd have their name their submissions their latest attempt and their gradebook score would appear here and there's also some other um, statistic views that you can see once that quiz is working so in short what we've done is we started out with um, maybe some existing quiz or assessment material we formatted them in a special way based on the resources at that website which is csi.edu pasted them in here from that other existing word document or if you want to hand type them you can do that too create quiz download it go to Schoology we added materials added a quiz or test once we had that thing added in there then we um, added some questions to it by go back in here just to the existing one we add some questions by importing a test or quiz and importing that zip file now you've got an assessment so it's a little bit of a long way around I think um, but it's a lot better than having to retype by hand things that already exist if you have any other questions please let us know and we'll be happy to help you and try to get you up and running in your Schoology course.